In this episode, we are going to take a look on how to load uh, library models. So Pandacom's pre-installed with egg files, which are the 3D file format uh, used by Panda. And um, if you want to find those models, just go to your Python directory, or if you have a separate virtual environment, then go to that virtual environment directory. So mine is uh, at uh, panda3d-env. And if you go to this directory and into lib site packages, you will find all the installed site packages. So set up to pip and here is panda. And click on the panda and you will find this folder called models. In this folder you will find a bunch of egg files. And these are also zipped. So box.egg.pz so pzipped. We are also going to take a look on a later video or on a later episode how to unzip these files. So and this, this uh, folder, this models folder in your um, virtual environment or in your um, Python directory is automatically set to use used by Panda. So you don't have to point to this to this path. So let's load let's load let's say this box uh, that egg file. Let's name it box and use the self that loader. So the loader is just another built in into Panda that load model and give it the models slash box. So you don't have to put the dot dot egg dot egg dot pz file extension. Just just put it as models slash box. It's enough. Uh, Panda will automatically um, automatically take a look uh, or figure out the file extension for you. So, and to actually make it visible, everything what you want to make visible, you need to reparent it to the render. Um, because Panda uses the so-called seeing graph, we are going to talk about the seeing graph in, in an upcoming video. So for now, just call the box.reparent2 method and give it the self.render. And now if I run it, we don't see the box, although it is in the scene, but it is in the same position as the camera, so the 0, 0, 0 position. So we are going to move the box a little bit back. So box, that set position, and 0 on x, 10 on y, and 0 on the z axis. And now the box is visible. So 0 is the left right so the horizontal the y is is uh, goes into the scene so uh, far from the camera or into the camera or into the view and the z is the uh, vertical movement so up and down we are also going to take a look on the coordinate system of of panda in an upcoming video so we have a box let's load another model so this box is is this file box.egg.pz I'm also going to load this panda.egg file and let's name it just panda and also use the self.loader.loadmodel method and give it the folder which is the models and the name of the file which is panda and as, as I said you don't have to put the file extension uh, let's reparent this to the render, so reparent to the self.render and let's run it. And now we can see part of the panda because uh, it is still in the zero, 0 position where the camera is. So I'm just going to move it a little bit back. So panda, that set position, 
let's move it negative 2 on x, 10 on y, and 0 on the z-axis. And now we see this panda model is a huge model, so we are also going to rescale it now. So you can do that by panda dot set scale, and set scale takes three arguments: the x scale, y scale, and the z scale. I'm going to scale it to 0 0.2 on on the three axis. So. 20% of its original size on the x, 20% on y, and 20% on the z-axis. And now it's it's a lot smaller. So you can use these library models if you want. Uh, we are going to take a look on uh, in an upcoming video how to export 3D models from Blender and uh, load as egg files and load them into our application.